In this clip, we'll be looking at the user management feature within the Innova app. This feature gives the user the ability to add new app users and manage existing ones. User management is accessed by selecting the three horizontal lines at the top left of the screen and selecting User Management. This option will only be available if the person who's logged in has admin permissions. User management is made up of two sections, Users and Roles, which are both accessed via the icons at the bottom of the screen. We'll take a look at the Roles section first. As standard, there will be a default admin and a default reader role available. New roles can be added by selecting the white plus symbol at the bottom right of the page. When adding a new role, the user can choose the organisation from a drop-down list. There will only be one option available here to select. The user then enters a suitable role name and description, chooses the appropriate permission and then selects Submit. The new role will then appear on the list. The role options can be edited at any time by selecting the appropriate role from the list. Choosing the operator symbol allows the user to assign which operator the role will have access to. If all options are left unchecked, then the role will have access to all the available operators. The products and features available to the role can also be chosen as required for the website, mobile app, and the client API. With the relevant roles now created, we'll take a look at the users section. As with the roles, new users can be added by selecting the white plus symbol at the bottom right of the page. A valid email address must be entered for any new user and this will also serve as the username when logging into the app. Passwords must contain a minimum of eight characters one uppercase, one lowercase, one number and one special character, otherwise they will not be accepted. Organisation is chosen from the drop down menu and again there will only be one option available here. The role is chosen from a drop down menu and all the options from the roles section will be available to select from here, so choose the appropriate role. Choose the appropriate default unit set and ensure the active option is green and hit submit. If for any reason the new user does not show up on the list immediately, drag the screen down to refresh the page. When a new user is created, an automatic email will be sent to their email address asking them to verify this address. As with the roles section, the user can then select the operator symbol, which will allow you to select which operator the user has access to. The options available here will be based on the role that has been selected for the user. If all options are left unchecked, then the user will have access to all the available operators. The wells available to the user can then be selected. The wells listed will be based on the operators the user has access to. As with the operators, if all options are left unchecked, then the user will have access to all the available wells. Once these steps have been followed, the user can then log into the app or portal with the relevant username and password. Roles and users can both be deleted by swiping left and selecting delete. The user can be deactivated at any time by selecting the user and unchecking the active option. This now concludes our introduction to user management.